Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, I am back here with Rustin. He's been gone a while. He's back now. Um, he had to take care of some things, but he's back on the channel. And today, we're going to get started today. Today, we're operating the Peterbilt 389 Customs. Uh, the modified, you can get them on the Steam Workshop. You can get them on anything, really. Um, it's got the custom paint job, custom mods, everything like that. We're also running the Z Mods N14 engine. It's 800 Pittsburgh motor. Um, and we're hauling double fuel trailers, custom double fuel trailers. Both of them are customized specifically for our trucks and customized to our liking. Same with our trucks. Our trucks are too. But, um, yeah, so anyways, how's it feel to be back, Rustin? Pretty good, actually. I'm excited and, yeah. That's about it. <laughs> All, right. <laughs> All right. So guys, let's uh let's get this thing on the road. Anyways, guys, so we're going to get this thing on the road and we're going to get this thing started. Uh like I said, we're driving the custom Peterbilts that we have created ourselves and we're on the custom fuel trailers, which the fuel trailers are new. They just added them on the last update along with the bulk trailers. All the bulk trailers are new as well. But, so far, the update looks good. Yeah, uh, I think it looks pretty nice. Um, but there are a couple of issues still with Montana. I don't know if it's a conflicting mod that we're using, because we are using JBX graphic mods and Great America 3.5 by Voith. I don't know if it's conflicting or if there's actually a bug problem with the game not rendering certain spots on the map. But, anyways, so, now that we're back, we're uh, glad to have you back, Rustin, and back on the channel. Uh, it's been a couple days since you were last on here, actually, I think about a week. Um, in the last yeah. video, the last video, I went ahead and uh, took a load out to Platt, South Dakota, uh, which was nice to see, and that was before the update. But, um, it was a nice drive, nice, easy drive. This one seems to be a decent drive, 7 hours, 400 miles, not too bad not bad at all i think it's going to be a little windy though because we're going through all the rockies and stuff like that actually i think we're going through back roads all the way there no we're going through back roads to provo and then hitting the highway going through salt lake city and then uh towards elko and there's traffic and then on to winnemucca I think that's how you say that. Yeah, Winnemucca. Oh, that's why. Is it going down to one lane? Yeah. That's why. Hold on. I got this guy trying to... I got this grain hauler trying to push me off the road here. <laughs> Sorry, I'll stop that. Anyways... Yeah, so far, and like I said, they updated this truck as well. It, the truck was not working the last time we had it. They, it was conflicting with other mods, and it was out of, outdated, and there was a lot of problems going on with it. I think the, the biggest problem we had was with the lights. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. What is that car doing here? What are we doing? Slowing down for a light. Ooh, that almost ended badly. Yeah. <laughs> you slowed down way too quick. I think it's my brake sensitivity. I think they put two stronger brakes on here. <laughs> Anyways, guys, but the Montana mount map did release today or early this morning, I think around midnight. It did release, and it is a great map so far. I've, vi I've ventured into it a little bit in the beta form. Um... Wasn't too bad. A um, lot of beautiful sights and stuff, but I think they have a little couple of bugs they got to work on. Um, like I said, the rendering problem with that. Also, there was a spot on there that I used during the beta form that they were that they had when they started the beta a couple uh, like last week, where you would go through a toll and it would give you money. That's weird. So yeah, so. It was one of those things where, 
you know. Hey, if you can, I'm gonna slide in front of you up here because I can't get over behind these mother these people. Yeah. All right, I'm gonna slide up here. Let me know when I'm good. Keep going. All right. All right, what do we got up here? Looks like it's a simple merge, but it's good. Cutting it close to the wall. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna try and get up to highway speed here. We are at 70,000 pounds, so I mean, we're not too heavy. We're right on the heavier side. Uh, a lot of people like to roll at 80,000, but I mean, we're hauling fuel. You gotta leave it room to expand while it's in the trailer because, you know, with gases and stuff, they heat up, they expand. You wanna leave some extra room in there. But still 70,000 pounds worth of fuel and double trailers is still a lot oh yeah for sure looks like we got a storm coming up here oh god <laughs> I know we always talk about it it's either sh if it ain't raining you ain't training and if it ain't you know dark if, yeah if it's, just, <laughs> it's usually dark and it's either dark or raining or both I mean, we, we never get the best of both worlds. We don't. We're never clear and sunny a whole way through. But I guess we'll see up here. If you got enough speed, you can come around. Yeah, no, dude. I'm at 57 miles an hour. Okay, yeah, I'm only... I'm pushing right at 60. Yeah, I'm getting there. Yeah, some crazy stuff right now. Oh, by the way, I don't know if you knew this, Rustin, or not. They just released a new Western Star truck for the game. Oh, okay. It's modern, but they did release it. And you know what I didn't look into? What? The... Oh, that's what it was. I never added it, I don't think. I gotta look into it. I gotta look into Max. Because they added, there was a mod out there that they just added called, it was called the Mac uh, Titan. Okay. And it's supposed to be really, really cool. Yeah, we, we might need to look into that. Alright, what do we got? A couple, a little bit of traffic up here, so watch out. We might actually miss that storm that's over to the east. Actually, be technically our north, but right out our right side window. Yeah. Looks like we're gonna take this right, so be prepared to get in the right lane. Yep, I'm doing about 75, so slow it down just a little bit. says curves made for 50 we shall see I'm doing 40 I've got the Jake brakes hammered down well you can go faster than 50 on that curve oh for sure I was doing 54 and I probably could have done easily 60 Now I got a little uphill on it, so I mean, doing doing just a little bit faster would have helped, kind of. I guess I'll turn my lights on. Let's see, it says 12:05 p.m. Right? 
and the sun's mm -hmm. going the sun is going down like i said their timing on here is a little messed up oh yeah they're about nine hours off <laughs> <laughs> Speed limit 75 though. If we can get up to it. Seventy. Yep, yeah, just hit seventy. Yeah, and there was a couple videos ago I was talking about um you know expanding expanding the channel and trying different games out and doing different things and so because I, like I said I did a couple DCS videos and it wasn't too bad and so I mean eventually we need to expand and get into some we need to show these people some squad I, I think that'll be a next video game. yeah we, yeah we need to we need to show them some squad uh, some double player tank action or something like that or if not squad oh hey we got construction coming up Right lane closed, get in the left lane. Traffic slowing down. All right, am I out? I'm out of it. But anyways, like I was saying, um, another good game that is playable is uh, like I said DCS world that's another one I like so I did a couple videos on that one and right now they have a couple free aircraft that you can use uh, without having to pay for any or they have another one that's really cool is um, it's free it's a double seater f-16 block 50 hmm so one person is the the gunner and the other person is the pilot Okay. So there's that, but I think squad will be our one of our next coming up videos. Yeah, for sure. Just kind of expand a little bit. I got Amazon chase or trying to race me over here. Yeah, y'all just smoked me. Well, he's <laughs> he. This dude's smoking me. This dude is oh, leaving yeah. me in the dust. Speed limit's eighty. Bumping it up to 85. I'm doing 67. <laughs> yeah, that dude left me in the dust. He must be light, that's why. Yeah. Must be carrying them boxes. Them Amazon boxes. Hey, I order from Amazon all the time, so he needs to uh, come down to Oklahoma. <laughs> Are you catching up, or do I need to back off a little bit? No, I'm catching up. Okay. I'm staying stagnant about 70 miles an hour. Yeah, I'm about 75. Yeah, my truck's not one to go that fast. I mean... We're also running two different engines, two different wheel setups. I'm running, I'm running the same engine. The N14. I got the bypass. Let's see, do I get it? I do got the bypass. That's rare. We get that every once in a while, and that's about it. Yeah, usually it's one or the other. Usually you get it and I don't, or I get it, you don't, or neither of us get it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it's got a speeding violation. Did you get a speeding violation? I'm not even doing the speed limit. Uh, oh, I'm I was good. doing well already. I'm doing 74. I can't even. I'm just now getting up to fucking, or just now getting to 80. I just hit 80 again. Yeah, you'll end up passing me. Go ahead. I'm trying. Nice truck. 
You ain't got your beacons on? I can turn them on for you. Oh yeah, look at that. Such a clean truck. That truck and trailer matching colored. Oh yeah. Oh, what's going on up here? Oh, uh, left lane. Let's see what what happened. Let's see. Oh, uh, car accident, fender bender. That's it. A little fender bender. Goodness. Made me slow down to twenty five for that. Shoot, I got down to twenty. Hey, you got you got pretty good downhill coming, so yeah, I hope I can gain some speed. But I'm hoping. I'll go and get in the slow lane since I can't even get up to speed. Eh, I gotta pull over for a second. Alright. So once we get out this tunnel, we'll pull over. Alright. guys well I got the truck all fixed ready to go he had some tire problems let's see if we can get let's see if we can merge back on this highway these trucks are not letting us over <laughs> he says, excuse me well they didn't want to let me over and I wasn't slowing down god we have a lot of traffic behind us Look at in front of us. Not as bad as what's behind us. Goodness. I like what you did with your trailers. Oh, the lightning bolt? Oh, yeah. What's yours? Like a little swoosh sign or... Uh, it's the swift symbol. <laughs> okay. That, that's what that is. <laughs> he was like, not as impressive. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't say nothing about my bullhorns. No, I'm playing. I didn't see your bullhorns. You don't see my three and a half feet long bullhorn mount? No, um, I'm not to the front of your truck. It's crazy how you can't, like, it's probably my seat settings. I don't know. Because <laughs> I can't see Jack over my hood. Ah, dude, this car is riding you, bro. I'm doing 60. I can't get up to speed. <laughs> like, dude, this car was like bumper. Well guys, we're two hours, 32 minutes out, 146 miles, over halfway there. It was originally a seven hour trip. Making some headway. There we go. 
Talk about a hill. Uh, we got a pretty tight curve. Oh, that's not as bad. I am moving. Oh, almost went off the road there. Oh, dude, I'm not stopping on this uphill. I got the bypass. I did not. <laughs> I gotta stop anyway. Let me know what your total weight is. A hundred and twenty nine thousand pounds. Or a hundred and twenty nine six hundred and sixty three thousand pounds. <laughs> That uh, we're pretty heavy. And on here it says we're about seventy six, so they lied to us. Your you said seventy six. Yeah. I'm sixty nine. Yeah, no I'm seventy six pounds is what they told us we were. Seventy six pounds. Or seventy six thousand. God Well no, that's only counting the load, that's not counting the truck. Well, yeah. Or trailers. That's just counting how much actual materials you're hauling. That's why you're 121. 29. Or, or 129. And we're moving. About two hours left. Elko discovered another city we have discovered rusted crazy one down only 88% to go actually I think we're more like 93% but we have 93% yeah. undiscovered <laughs> I actually like this truck yeah they're not bad I mean, I kind of wish my uh, lights I picked actually worked. <laughs> I got a layer of lights on my side there. No, they work. Never mind. They're just kind of rough, kind of hard to see. Well, no, I I picked smoked white LED lights, and they're amber. So. No, they looked white on mine. Ah, uh, they're amber on mine. <laughs> like, look, uh. How fast are you going? Uh, 66. Okay, I'll do the speed limit. Go a little faster and catch up to me. I'll take a look at your truck. If I can. Alright, I'm doing 70. Pick it back up. And there's an uphill, of course. I was trying to take a look at your truck. Turn off your uh, yeah. your flash right next to you. I'm about your last, your second trailer coming up to your first, hitting which, your bumper. Which lights are there? there we go. Which lights are they? White. No, yeah. They're, no, they're amber. Thought so. Yeah, you'll probably have to go to the truck stop and order some new ones. Probably. Or, you know, I, I tell the Amazon driver to get me some, you know. Speed limit's 80, by the way. Yep, doing 81. Dude, you better get back over. And don't get back over. Don't get back over. Okay. I'm trying to catch up. Slowly but surely. Getting in the right lane. I 
I say I went with the white lights. Yeah, I went with white LED smoked. Oh, I don't know. So I, I don't. White. Do... I don't really know what's going on. But we are almost there, about 50 miles. We're making good time, though. That's the the good part. Oh yeah. Remains I have 14 hours, and then I have one hour till my next rest. So, we're good. Man, I hit that hill and lost all. I went speed. down to, yeah, dude. I went down to 60. But we're going through a tunnel, guys. You know what tunnels means? All no, iron, baby. Wow. Oh. See, I ride a street bike, so like tunnels and bridges mean rev, rev it. Rev it hard. <laughs> That's what I'm gonna do next next tunnel or brit or next tunnel. I'm gonna shift into neutral real quick. Rev it. <laughs> well you know what oh you wanna know something else that's crazy? What's up? Farming simulator is having two big packets come out. Alright, where they haven't come out. So Volvo is now an official partner with Pharma Simulator. Nice. And then they're also remembering, or now they're adding a, it's still third party mod, but Farming Simulator is sponsoring it. So it's not gonna be, it's gonna be a DLC that you have to buy, but it's not gonna be a, a giant software DLC. It's gonna be a third, third party. But um, they, uh, it's gonna be, it's called a, uh, Tanks and hoses, I think is what's called. Where you can pull hoses through your field or something like that to use them to fertilize or something. Yeah. Ooh. You're coming up quick. I moved. That was close. Yeah, no, I, I seen you on my map coming up pretty quick, and so I was like, eh, let me get out the way. Alright, we're almost there, guys. And my guys make it. Yeah, my guys get tired. Yeah, so am I. Four miles out though. Winnemucca discovered. This is a silver state. I didn't go wide enough on that turn, I guess. How did that happen? I have no idea. Yeah, I am in a predicament here. I have a truck right behind me, really. Hey, I just pulled into my spot. Dude, you're gonna have to move out of my way because I've got to get around this curve. Alright, excellent. We have a little accident here. So, guys, um, I'm not gonna lie, this is like one in a million chances that I complete a trip without wrecking. And speaking of the devil, I'm the one that crashed this time. What did you do? Like, my truck is stuck. Like, I don't even oh, know what? what. Like, on that guardrail, like, I just was going around the corner, and I guess I 
got too close to it, I guess. Not even sure. Crazy. But we're almost there. It's just gonna have you pull straight in. By the way, you have diff lock. Yeah, I know. I turned them on just to try and gain traction. It didn't work out for you, did it? No, not at all. So this should be a non-collision area on where we're at I'm hoping cuz I cannot back up doubles yeah it's a uh, it should be non-collision don't move though okay alright go ahead and do this Alright guys, let's see here. Even though I got a little accident, I still didn't take no damage for the load. So the load is still good. Still paid out $71,000, 1200 XP. Not too bad for a load, uh, kind of a uh, somewhat long distance, not too bad. Um, we used 142 gallons of fuel, so that thing is guzzling gas. But I'm going to pull up here if you want to pull up right next to me. Yeah, let me get out of this. All right. Let's go ahead and pull up here. We're about to have to go to sleep because our guys are getting tired. Oh, go. yeah. Hey, no one's using a lane. Take it. I'll go ahead and turn my hazards off. I don't need them on. Anyways, guys. Well, that's the end of the road for this episode. And it was a pretty good um, pretty good trip. Pretty good. Uh, with, besides the end there. The end there was kind of uh, a little depressing. I kind of messed that one up. But, hey, what are you going to do about it? But, like I said, we'll see you later. And we'll catch you again. Go ahead, like, and subscribe. The subscribes and likes out there. And share. Our, if you want, you can share our video. Get it out there. Let other people see it. Um, we appreciate y'all. And talk to you later. Is it go?